There are a lot of reasons why someone would dislike where they live, because no place is perfect. And although there's a lot to like, you can't romanticize any place or culture, and you have to stay a bit realistic. So here are my top 5 reasons why I hate Sweden. Number 5. Gnomes playing tricks on you. So a big hobby in Sweden is going to the forest to pick mushrooms, and you can eat any mushroom you want and not worry about it. But the problem is that the more mushrooms that you eat, the more gnomes will show up, and they will be extremely aggravated with you for eating mushrooms. And they will harass you wherever you go, telling you about the mushroom ecosystem and how they are beings of their own, and it's always the same crap, like, I don't care. I have freedom to roam, so any mushroom I want is mine, which leads to... Number four, getting sent to the Nordic mythology realm known as the Hidden World. So if you keep refusing the demands of a gnome, they will just force you to another realm to learn about nature and harmony, which apparently means a world where elves, trolls, and gnomes are in control, and a place where mushrooms pick people. Number three, having to spend a lifetime in the Hidden Realm. I never asked to be here. I just wanted to pick mushrooms, but now I'm hanging out at bars with dwarves, and I can slowly feel all my memories of my past life slip away, and every day I'm just struggling to remember ordinary life. I'm meeting elves, and all of a sudden I'm racing a half-elf family, and okay, I guess I have to take care of this now, forget my past life, I guess, because I have to pick up my half-elf kids from daycare, where they spent all day learning about mushrooms from a gnome. Number two, even in the mythological Swedish hidden realm, the taxes are too goddamn high. Number one, giants tearing apart the time-space continuum. You'll know when you meet a giant, not because of their size, but because they won't shut up about themselves. They will go on and on about how they are the oldest creatures and how they know what's best for a world and how you don't belong here. And apparently saying something like, you know, I didn't really think this Norse mythology stuff was real is the worst thing you can say, because they will go on and on and start comparing things like how our galaxy is Midgard and every branch is one of many in the universe that we call the giant tree Yggdrasil, and it's like, wow, yeah, you're really blowing my mind with all this tree stuff. But I kind of just want to leave this place and get out of here because I sort of remember a time before all of this, and I'm pretty sure it was better. And eventually, a giant will let you out, but they will be like, Okay, I will let you leave, but you can't forget. You must never forget. You are the chosen one. You have to go back and tell everyone about this. Only you can tell everyone. You will save everyone. You are the chosen one. I'm sending you back. So you get sent back. Except apparently sent back means waking up the next day in the forest, drooling, and I have wet myself. So those are my top five reasons why I hate living in Sweden. But before I leave, I just want to say, please leave a comment down below if you can relate to this. Please, if you understand or this has happened to you, please leave a comment down below. Please, how do I stop this from happening? Please. Okay, bye everybody. Bye.